Hello everyone, welcome to Epic Knowledge. This is Yamin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create multiple authentication in Laravel 8 test team. Okay, so if uh, the user is logged in then it will take us to user dashboard and if the admin is logged in then it will take us to the admin dashboard. Okay, so first of all we are going to create a Laravel project. Uh, let's create a Laravel project uh, in this YouTube folder. So let's open a CMD over here. And press enter and for creating laravel project we just need to say laravel new let's say our project will be name will be uh, multi auth okay and press enter okay the laravel project is created so we can close it now and here you can see multi auth the laravel project that we created so let's go inside and let's just say over here cmd and it will open a common pump uh, uh, let's just say over here php artisan serve and press enter now if we go to browser and say this uh, it will show us our laravel project okay so now we are going to uh, add jstim uh, login and registration using jstim uh, in this laravel project okay so for this uh, let's go to our uh, project directory again and let's open another uh, cmd and right now we will say uh, composer uh, require laravel slash jet stream uh, it will install a uh, jet stream in our laravel project and so press enter okay the jet stream is installed now we will uh, install library so we will say php artisan jet stream then i install uh, live or okay and press enter it will install the live wire after installing live wire, we need to run these two command uh, npm install and npm run dev i am just going to copy it from here control c control v and press enter npm is installed now we will run uh, npm run dev and press enter okay in npm run dev is uh, also installed now let's open our project using sublime text uh, i'll click file then open folder our project was uh, inside local leaks g then uh, youtube and then multi auth this is our project so select folder so you can see uh, this is our project now first of all uh, we will go inside database and then migration and then here you can see a lot of table uh, we will go to this uh, user table okay so let's click user table and uh, let's add a row over here uh, which will be actually role uh, we'll say over here dollar string role and it will have a default value and default uh, by default its value will be zero okay so if the value is zero it means uh, it will be adding if the value is on then uh, it is uh, sorry if the value is zero it will be user and if the value is on then it will be adding okay so let's save it again and uh, let's go to our uh, over here dot env here you can see that by default uh, our database name is uh, multi auth which was our project name okay so we need to create this database so let's go inside uh, my ps my admin and then let's click new then uh, click database name database name uh, here you can see that my uh, database name was multi auth okay so let's over here multi auth and click create here you can see that uh, the database is created which is this one now we'll write the command uh, php artisan migrate php artisan migrate and press enter uh, it will migrate all the table uh, into this database multi auth 
okay here you can see all the table is migrated now if we click over here uh, you would be able to see all the database over here if you click user uh, you can see over here name email role okay so now let's uh, go to laravel and let's refresh over here and here you can see login and register option okay so let's just uh, register 20 i mean two account uh, let's say first one will be for user so user password on two three four five six seven eight on two three four five six seven eight and click register okay uh, here you can see user is registered okay let's log out and let's create another account let's say this time it will be for uh, admin admin at gmail.com on two three four five six seven eight and on two three four five six seven eight and click register okay uh, we also created uh, another account for admin now if you go to our database and uh, let's click uh, sorry multi auth and and then users uh, here you can see that uh, we created two user uh, who, uh, and both of them role is by default zero so we are going to make uh, make it on for admin so let's click edit and let's make it equal one and let's uh, say go so we change the role for admin okay so it is on right now so let's go back to our code uh, now uh, we'll go inside app then we'll click providers and then you can see route service provider.php okay just click it and uh, over here you can see uh, public const home equal dashboard we'll change it to we'll say over here uh, redirects okay so let's save it control s okay now uh, we will go to route and then web.php we will create a route over here for redirect we will say route then get uh, we will see over here uh, redirects redirects and then comma we need to say uh, app then backslash uh, http backslash controllers backslash uh, let's say our uh, controller name will be home controller okay and uh, the class name will be uh, let's say index so let's have them inside a quotation uh, okay so let's save it now we don't have this uh, home controller so let's create this home controller so let's go to uh, cmd and uh, we'll see over here php artisan make controller home controller okay and press enter oh, sorry i did a mistake over here Now let's press enter okay here you can see that uh, home controller created successfully now if you go back to our code app then http uh, then controller here you can see home controller now let's create a index function over here uh, which we just uh, mentioned over here we will see over here uh, public uh, function index and then uh, inside the second bracket we will just uh, three or four line of code uh, first of all we will declare a variable uh, we will say dollar role is equal to uh, auth then user 
role okay so actually this role is actually coming from uh, the database uh, over here from here okay and then after that after that uh, we will say if a uh, dollar roll equal equal uh, equal equal on then uh, return view to admin okay so return view uh, let's say it will be uh, admin dot dashboard okay and else uh, if it's not if the role not equal on then uh, it will return return view to regular dashboard i mean the user dashboard ts dash p o a r d board okay Sorry, I forgot to give the quotation over here. So control S. Now we don't have this uh, admin dashboard, so we will create it. Uh, we will go inside our uh, resource, then views. Over here, we will create a folder, a new folder. Let's say admin, and then inside admin, we will say dash dashboard dot plate.php okay so let's save it control s and save and uh, let's just say over here just a uh, normal thing let's just say inside h1 uh, this is a admin dashboard uh, for you okay so let's save it control s Uh, okay, one more thing I forgot to add. We need to add a use over here. Uh, other uh, okay, so let's just copy it and let's paste it over here. We'll say over here illuminate slash uh, support slash uh, it will be packets packets backslash auth. Okay, uh, here you can see uh, we are using uh, auth over here. But where is, is this auth coming from? It's coming from over here. If you don't add this line, then it will uh, throw you an error or an exception. Okay. So don't forget to add it. So let's save it everywhere. Just to be sure. Okay. So now let's go back to our code. I mean uh, browser. Let's refresh and let's click uh, login. Now first try for add yeah user okay we'll try for user on two three four five six seven eight and click login okay it take us to user dashboard okay so now let's try to login for admin let's click login let's over here admin and pass out on two three four five six seven eight and click login okay it take us to the uh, admin dashboard okay so now uh, if you want to add uh, like logout option for admin then uh, just go to this user dashboard just copy this and paste it uh, inside this admin dashboard i'll just paste it over here and let's just uh, remove this part and uh, let's say over here uh, let's say inside center uh, this is admin dashboard that i created because i am a genius okay so let's save it control s and let's refresh uh, here you can see uh, this is the admin dashboard that I created because I am a genius. Okay, 
So I hope I was able to help you to do a multi role authentication in Laravel 8 test team. So I hope I was able to help you and if you like this video, please uh, subscribe my channel and if you face any problem, then let me know in the comment section. I will surely, surely reply back and thanks again for watching.